Goals. We all have them. We're inside. You might have physical goals that you're trying to achieve. And there's this phenomenon called eroding goals. Eroding goals essentially is the understanding that you can have goals for yourself and not be able to achieve them. And a part of that problem is that our memory and different events and yada yada, other things become more important in the moment and you kind of forget about yourself and you kind of forget about your health. So you got to put yourself first. Today you have more time than you have ever had. And so I just wish for you that you can use it a little bit more productively. And so one way to do that is to make a list. There's the checklist manifesto. There are a lot of popular blogs and theories out there that will put you in touch with what's valuable and what's meaningful in your life. But I want to talk about physically eroding goal is pain. If you have pain in your shoulder and you've had pain in your shoulder for months, you're going nowhere fast. So essentially, I'm sorry, it's true. You're not going to achieve the outcomes that you really want to achieve in the world if you have pain and nagging pain that's kind of debilitating you and not leading you towards the outcome that you want. So some ways to beat an eroding goal are to continuously put the goals back in front of you that you want to achieve. So a couple ways to do that are to make lists. You can use post-it notes, you can write it down often, and that puts it back in your working memory bank. So this way you can try to achieve what's really meaningful to you while you have this extra time. Because the truth is, <laughs> you have time like the rest of us. There's 24 hours in a day. What makes somebody else achieve some goals physically like taking care of yourself, getting yourself out of pain is the person's able to put that goal back in the forefront of their mind continuously as other things bump up against and attract your effort and your energy. And those might be extremely important. And at that moment, a tough call for priorities because that might be the priority. But the truth is, if you don't have some way of putting what's important back in front of you, you're always going to be last and you'll never move those goals forward. So look up, investigate the concept of eroding goals. You're not the only one. I hope you're able to figure out how to hack a solution for yourself. A part of hacking a solution is agreeing you have a problem, understanding you have a problem, understanding the problem itself, and then you can go to work on the system and the structure that keeps the problem in play. So take care and good luck.